Auto Trends Fans come and go, sometimes on a whim, other times because of outside forces. Here at the halfway point of the new millennium's first decade, car culture has sure taken some interesting turns. Those of you who innocently took a test drive of a plain Jane Nissan Altima when it was new in 2002, floored it, and nearly sprained your necks upon discovery of 240 horsepower, may have suspected that the standards of speed had risen a tad since the 90s. Turns out that was only the beginning. Nowadays, the Volkswagen Passat raised that same family car bar to an excessive 280 horsepower. Whether or not you're speed free, there are two trickle down benefits. The minimum standard of horsepower has risen from 55 to 103, and very few cars in any segment are truly underpowered anymore. Not a bad development. Cars just won't stop growing. Every redesign has to be bigger than the last one. The new Toyota RAV4 is 14 inches longer than the last, and current Civics now morph towards of years past. It's an inevitable force of marketing, no one wants to pay the same money for less car, right? The Toyota Prius Hybrid heads into its third year with unsatisfied demand, a long run, and a price premium. All this despite an ample supply of the perfectly serviceable Corolla at the same dealers. No automaker wants to be caught with their pants down. And all are rushing to market with a hybrid, even if it means using systems developed by competitors. We seem to want our cars with more stuff and more personality. The 90s banality in our styling is gone, even on the most banal cars like the Accord and Camry. SUVs are suddenly for the foolish, they always have been, but now everyone seems to know it, too. Ford's Explorer and Expedition are going down the drain, and the excursion has already expired. The bigger the SUV, the bigger the sales drop. Little cars are selling better than ever, even old-timers like the Sentra and Neon. Lastly, we're going foreign and fast. This is hardly a new trend, but its recent acceleration is alarming. One thing for sure is that in terms of the players, the market has matured. Only two major automakers set up American bases in the 90s, and the 2000s have brought none. Dog cars can get bigger or faster forever, yet no one can stand still. Hybrids are hot, but the long-term experiences remain to be seen.